Whew, what a day. What a lovely day to pick some orders. Let's get in there and do it. Whew, going in. It's, uh, when you first open it, it's quite cool. You sort of think, oh, that's not bad. And then as you walk, sort of get a bit further in, it's just a bit like an oven, really. So it's just slowly heating up. So let's get these orders picked ASAP. Well, with a break from tradition, I shall start with my vintage orders because it's, all of these things are sold on vintage. So, what have we sold? Um, just trying to work out the prices. So, his dark materials has sold for one pound fifty, and this Star Wars Encyclopedia has sold for two pound. Uh, I Claudius by Robert Graves has sold for one pound fifty. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban has sold for three pound. I've just realised I actually spelt Harry Potter wrong on the listing. I called it Harry Pitter, which is maybe why it took so long to sell. Um, <laughs> stupid Steve. A uh, bundle of three of these so of Mice and Man. Uh, beloved uh, by Tony Morrison and a literature student's survival kit uh, they have sold for £4.5p and um, this lot here Amelia Fang, Beowulf and Jack Grealish have sold for £3 for the whole lot um, what was the last one? The Dance of Anger that has sold for £1.50 so not a huge value, not a huge amount of money, but it just sort of clears a few books out, which is what I like to do with it. Um, and say so if there was ever a vintage pro that came around, I'd probably list a whole load more on there because I find it so easy to list on there. Um, but yeah, so those are all going. Right, let's get on with the eBay orders before I melt. Um, so first one should be yeah uh, Silent Hill Homecoming game for PS3 uh, that was in that big load of games I picked up on and the console for £20 at the car boot recently that game on its own has sold for £25 free postage but yeah that maybe doesn't quite cover it all of the amount on its own but yeah I've already sold other bits and the PlayStation's listed for a lot higher so yes very pleased a couple of Tarzan DVDs uh, so they have sold for £25.80 plus £3.20 postage um, so it's a Tarzan collection volume 1 and volume 2 I bought those at my local tip shop um, I think I picked them up because I was going to trade them in in CEX because um, they traded, I think one traded in for a fiver, one traded in for a six pound credit. Um, but I thought I'd have a look on eBay. Um, yeah, and I, they, I saw a lot. I, basically, these two together had sold for thirty pounds, so I listed them for that. Um, but then got an offer of twenty four pound eighty, um, and I just thought I'll take it and get them out. Another lot by this guy who I was told how to pronounce it, and now I've completely forgot. John Lacari? I don't know. Apologies to I can't remember who it was that corrected me and had to, or told me how to spell it, how to say it. But anyway, six of his books have sold. Another bundle uh, for twelve ninety nine plus postage. A couple of beer mats have sold. So these are the first ones I've sold. Um, I put a thing up on Instagram. If you haven't seen it. I had a load of them that I picked up. I, I live opposite a pub um, and I happened to go out one day and there was a bench set up outside and it just sort of said happy self and there was loads of glasses and beer mats. So I grabbed all the beer mats, um, grabbed some of the glasses, some which we've kept because they're really nice ones. Um, yeah, I left some of the glasses because I don't really like dealing with them. But um, yeah, all of these I am now all the rubber ones I've got listed, I've got some other sort of more clothy type ones with rubber backs. 
Um, but these have been listed and these have sold. So these are Cascabel, not heard of it. Uh, premium tequila, they have sold for 9.99 plus postage. One of them did have a split in it, slight split. The rest are, have been used, but they're in really good condition. So if you're after any beer mats, check out my store. A couple of PG tips, monkeys, um, Kevin and what's this one called? You may know before I do Samantha, Kevin and Samantha tips. Um, I can't remember. I think these are eighties or maybe early nineties before it changed over to uh, the other monkey. These have sold for fourteen ninety nine plus postage, and I paid a pound each. I think it was in the charity shop. Uh, rock sets greatest hits, uh, eleven ninety nine plus postage. Um, that cassette, obviously. Paid, I think I paid 50p for like three of them at a car boot, so yeah, that's good. That is going overseas to Norway, I think. Lovely history of the Eagles staying on the music theme. History of the Eagles Blu ray DVD uh, that has sold for 20 pounds free postage, paid a pound in a charity shop. I can get it all out. It's a uh, bread maker. It's Anthony Ward Thompson one for uh, Breville. I'm not sure if you can see the front. Now somewhere down there it says Anthony Ward Thompson. Uh, Breville one paid fiver at Carbo sold for 29.99 plus postage. Uh, Pokemon books. Uh, the Encyclopedia Pokemon and the Deluxe Essential Handbook. Um, I think this is just all about, they were basically both very similar, but I think this is more of an up-to-date one. Um, no, they're probably not too, uh, they're probably kind of similar, but yeah, I've sold them together anyway, for 5 99 plus postage. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos that I was going to get these listed, well I did, and they've sold. So that's good, so bundle of Simon Scarrow, I think it was 12 all in all, uh, that has sold for 14 99 plus postage. So that's quite nice to get those lot out. So I had half of them listed already um, on a different bundle, and I think I can't remember how much I had them listed for, but um, yeah, basically I took that listing down, changed it, added new photos in. And, you know, the, the previous one had been listed for about a year or so. This lasted a few days. With a whole load of a uh, whole load more books. I sold a pair of Levi's, uh, 501s, black. Um, I paid 8 99 for these in a charity shop, which is more than I would usually pay, but I figured they're brand new with tags. So they've sold for 29 99 plus postage. Now, I can't easily carry all of these. This isn't all of them. This is 15 of 23, I think it is. Um, books, Super Cook, the complete encyclopedia of cooking. <laughs> they're heavy books. Um, I don't even know how much they weigh. I should have. I, mean, I, I just figured I'll work it out when I sold them. Um, but they've sold for thirty pound plus six fifty postage. So um, hopefully that'll cover it. But if not, then I'll just take it off the price. But um, they, these were free anyway. So yeah, glad to get rid of this big bundle of books as well. I would have put them. <laughs> a West Ham mug has sold for £18 plus postage. Um, so some of these vintage mugs can do quite well. So this, I don't actually know what year it is, but it mentions Upton Park on it. So obviously I know it's it's vintage. You know, it's old enough because um, they haven't played there for quite a while now. So that, yeah, paid a pound in a charity shop copy of Little Dorrit by Dickens, hardback one, nice sort of copy of it actually, uh, 8 99 plus postage. Right, last couple now, this Kipling bag has sold, um, £13 plus postage, um, I bought that at Carbu, I think they wanted like a pound or two pounds for it or something. And finally, um, this pair of Echo shoes, like loafers. Um, brown, can't remember where I got them. Um, I 
I think it was a charity shop. I think I only paid like two pound or something, two, three pound maybe. Um, but they've sold for 20 pound plus postage. It's very nice. And that is it for my orders. So to not bad sales, I was of sort of picked up a bit so which has been nice um, I've also got a pair of roller boots back there which have sold but they haven't been paid for yet so despite eBay's best efforts of introducing all these new things there's still some bits that slip through the cracks it's very strange some things seem to pay automatically some items don't let people that haven't got to pay automatically and some things people can agree to buy at a certain price but they don't have to pay so it's still listed it's all very strange I don't really it's like there's three levels at the minute on, on eBay I don't know if anyone else has noticed that but it doesn't it doesn't really make sense at the minute um, I think they're trying to introduce things but it just yeah there seems to be a bit slow about doing it for whatever reason um, yeah, it's very strange. So my jobs for the week. I've got a bit of a strange, busy week really. So I've got, um, today I want to get all these orders done. Tomorrow I've got a fairly free day. So I'm going to try and crack on and get tons of stuff listed. Maybe come over here um, and get some of this stuff listed, but we'll see. Um, Thursday morning I've got a driving, speeding awareness test not test you know one of those speed awareness courses um which is annoying but <laughs> it's one of those things that happens um so then i've got the afternoon to try and crack on and do some stuff but i'm not sure what time i'm going to get um yeah and then friday i've got about half a day friday because i'm actually going up to my sisters hello if you're watching um so i will see um her over the weekend so then i've got I won't be doing anything over the weekend, so yeah, it's it's a it's kind of I need to try and get as much done in an, in a very short space of time as possible. With that being said, I shall say goodbye, um, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, you may notice in my last video, I met, I said I've just got over two thousand. I've now like I'm twenty five above that in a matter of days it's yeah it's crazy how it's just sort of it's, it's not taking off but it's done pretty well so uh, yeah thank you to everyone that subscribes and to all my new subscribers and all my old ones thanks again please hit thumbs up please if you know anyone that might be interested in this kind of thing feel free to share it with them because the more the merrier um, and I shall see you soon bye bye